Hey, Riley Pokemon family. Yesterday, we're in the car. We're in a different environment. We're going to go Pokemon hunting in the UK. So what we are searching for is the Galarian Surfetch box. Now, they've had this in Asda before. Um, I've, I'm going to be opening one on the channel. And I'm hoping to get another one. Uh, so fingers crossed they have it. Of course, any Shine and Fates product uh, and anything that they might have, they have the Battle Styles blister packs, uh, the single blisters. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you want me to do more videos like this. Remember, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new and comment down below. Let me know if you're enjoying these kind of like little mini vlogs that I added into the front of these videos and i'll catch you in a bit Okay, so as there wasn't as successful as we thought it might be, we didn't get the Surfetch, we only had the Alakazam boxes and I'm not really looking for them, but we did pick up this Pokeball. Now, I'm fingers crossed it's got an Evolutions pack, we'll get it opened in a second. Uh, but yeah, we're going to check out Sainsbury's quickly, see if they've got anything decent. They've got some Argos stuff, collection boxes, so I'm going to ask them what they've got, and then we'll head back and we'll open this. Catch us in a bit. <laughs> tell you what a pretty successful shop in Argos now we didn't get anything from Sainsbury's as you would have seen from the clips but we got two triple blister packs from Argos so they look like this uh, this one actually has Vivid Voltage uh, Snorlax stamped with three Vivid Voltage packs and then we also got this one here which is a Heatran from Sun and Moon Ultra Prism. That's a pretty sick pickup. So uh, we might not open these straight away. They might be in some shorts. I'm not decided what they're doing with it. But we also picked up the Urshifu V collection box. The Urshifu V box, there we go. And there's my car keys stuck in them as well. We've got the Urshifu V collection box. This is a very cool collection box indeed. I haven't picked it up yet. It was, I could probably just get it cheaper somewhere else. But you know, we managed to find it in Argos. It was 20 quid. Uh, so not too bad of a deal and it's just nice to pick some stuff up in store all right let's let's head back home and we'll get that pokeball open oh, fingers crossed fingers crossed we have an evolutions pack see you then all right back from the shop sainsbury's was no good at all as they came in with the great ball which we've got right here and then of course argos was the the, the savior of the video uh, where we picked up these two triple blisters packs um, if anyone hasn't seen what Argos do, this is what they do. They give you a random promo with the actual set itself. A um, uh, set of three cards. And then, of course, we got this Urshifu V-Box, which I am super excited to open. Now, when I first looked at my Urshifu box, I actually noticed that there was one pack missing. Um, but given a little bit of a shake around, I realized that the packs are basically just hiding behind each other. So we're good on that one. Um, but we're going to put this to the side for now. Uh, we're going to put these two to the side and we are going to go for the great ball which we've got right down here so i'm fingers crossed as i said in the car i'm hoping this is an evolutions pack Had a decent holiday hopefully you guys are enjoying these kind of videos i'm hoping to do more videos like this if you do enjoy it so uh, remember uh, smash that like button let me know down in the comments if you want to do some more stuff um i, I mean personally i kind of like doing this stuff and I, I like watching it as well i like i like seeing people especially in america finding out where they get their Pokemon products from. Because for the past year, we've all had to do it online and it, it hasn't been that fun. Um, and I kind of like like the thrill of going into a, a shop, a supermarket, a card shop, a toy shop. Like I've, I picked up the thing behind me, which I'll go, go into in a different video uh, from like a local card shop when I was doing a walk with me, with me dad. And it was, um, it was just a, it's just a nice experience finding some stuff. I got like a, a single blister as well. Ooh, we haven't got evolutions. Oh well, right, so let's see what we have in these packs. We have a Sun and Moon base, Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, and, ooh, XY Breakpoint, okay. So they haven't got Evolutions in, but they've got Breakpoint, which does have a Gyarados in too, uh, which is a decent card. We'll get this bottle of water out of the way, we'll get our sleeves already, um, and we'll get the packs opened. We obviously get a coin as well. Um, I can't even, I can't tell who that is, actually. Uh, oh well. 
I'll give it a Google. I'll give it a Google. Anyways, let's get into these packs. We'll leave the XY pack to last. Um, we'll go Sun and Moon base. I uh, can't think of the pull, the chase cards in this set. I mean, personally, I was just about to say, personally, I never get anything good in these packs. Uh, but I've just seen a shine, a glimmer. I've got a glimmer of hope. One, two, three, four. So we'll give it a tap for good luck. Hopefully it's something decent. Um, Burning Shadows is the one that we could get a Charizard in. I don't think there's a Charizard in Sun and Moon. Uh, there's some decent trainer cards. Uh, the Snorlax card that I want to get is, is um, what you call it? Sword and Shield. So I'm not too sure. All right, we get the Ilma, the Spinder. Also, if you've, if you, also you might have already noticed as well, we actually have the kind of like old camera setup that we're going for, the camera below the other camera, rather than the camera above the camera. Um, I don't know if you're that bothered. Uh, probably just cut this bit out, but yeah. Lowland Diglett. Dratini, Sandy Gast, Morello, Formantis, a Lily Reverse, and we get a GX. Ooh, a Gumshoes GX. I wasn't expecting that one. Um, that's a very funny looking card. Obviously, Sun and Moon had some uh, funky, funky Pokemon. Um, I can't even think of what this it evolves from Young Goose. Now, I know Young Goose, or I've heard of Young Goose, but we get a Gumshoes GX. Now, I got super excited because I saw the silver and I was like, ooh, shiny Charizard, ooh, this, ooh, that. But we're not doing Shine and Face today, Kyle. We're doing Sun and Moon and Breakpoint because for some reason the Pokemon company had decided to put Sun and Moon and Breakpoint products into Great Balls. But yeah, next pack Burning Shadows. Um, keep our gumshoes down here and we're back to having difficulty opening packets you know us on the Riley Point 1 channel we don't know how to do anything well there's my code card hmm. well it's a green it's a green code card so we're not getting anything super exciting from this but we'll finish the pack obviously Three, four, bit of glue maybe, some are sticking to our cards. Um, but we got our Darkness, Energy, a Wobbuffet, Electric, Guzma, Tangela, Tynamo, Crabrawler, Inkai, Ladybar, Super Scup of Reverse, and a Persian Hollow. Persian Hollow? A Persian Rare. Um, so not the best pack at all, but we finish off with the Breakpoint. I'm not going to look at the code card here at all because uh, I want to be surprised. So I'm going to look away. You guys will see. Fingers crossed, it said TCGO. Uh, oh my days. Right, before we get into this, look at the quality control over there. Look at this card. Look, look at the edging. It's got edging corners. That's what happens when you buy a great ball. Uh, your packs don't fit in the, in the ball itself um, and you get absolutely buggered. Right, I think we've done this right. Three at the back. We get our trainer card. Uh, I love Tierno. I've been using him in the Pokemon TCGO. Santa, Blitzel, Staryu, Electabuzz, Ferroseed, Froakie. Ooh, we get the Luxray Break. I don't have this one. I know people hate Break cards, but you know it's a pull. It's a pull at least. Um, and I do like something in the reverse holo slot, so I'm happy with that. I don't know if this means we can't get anything in the back slot. Ooh, we get a camera up, so nothing special. But we get the Luxray break. All in all, I, and people are probably going to be shocked when I say this. Well, not if you've watched every single video on this channel and not everything that's been uploaded. But this has probably been one of the better grip balls or any poker ball or Pokemon balls that I've ever opened. The Pokemon ball tins have always been a letdown for me in terms of actual pull rates. They haven't been the best. Um, I'm just looking down right now at this Luxray Break, Gimshoes GX, and thinking to myself, how am I saying this is one of the best um, tins that I've had? But it is. Uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the kind of vlog style content that we did. Uh, leave a like if you have. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Subscribe to the channel if you're not new but you haven't subscribed. Click that notification bell. You'll get notified every time we go live. I'm trying to get a schedule sorted. I'm trying to get a similar time that we're going to be uploading every day or every other day. I'll keep to that schedule. I promise. I promise. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.